Hey guys, Matt again. So now let's go ahead and talk about, as of right now, my final album, though it is not going to be my final album forever, and it probably won't be very shortly uh, after I make this, because I'm going to start making new stuff soon. Um, this is my album, Memories of the Cybernetic Love Cafe Where Elves Drink Their Wooden Hearts. And the title is insane and nonsensical, and it is that way on purpose. It means nothing. So this was intended to be me kind of like experimenting a bit. And this is kind of like my He's Gone Crazy album. Um, so I wanted the title to be random and weird to kind of signify the fact that I'm sort of branching out a bit. Um, that's really all that it means if you want to even think that it means anything. So, um, let's go ahead and talk about some of the songs on it. So the first is going to be Expectation. Now this is another one of those songs that I absolutely hate. I was trying my hand at angsty metal, and I don't think it went very well. I, I don't think I'm very good at angsty metal. The lyrics, honestly, are okay. I don't dislike them, but I don't really like them either. I just think that the song just sounds poor when it's all together. I was trying to go for another Devin Townsend vibe, but I think I went for, like, Tool, but not as good as Tool um, kind of thing. I think Tool is way better than what I did. Um, so, you know, whatever. Um... So I'm not the biggest fan of that. It, I was trying to make, like I said, I was trying to make it sound like a Devin Townsend song, and it sounded like a very poorly written Tool song, like something Maynard James Keenan would have written if he had like 10% of the talent that he does. So moving on. Uh, the next one is going to be Feelin' Fine. So Feelin' Fine is the first true instrumental that I've written uh, in quite a while. So I wrote it. Uh, originally, I did not intend to write it. It's just one of those things that happened uh, with everything going on in the world, especially, like, it's a COVID song, okay? It's a song about uh, enjoying yourself while COVID is going on. Because um, I know around this time, I started to kind of feel, you know, a little bit sad, a little bit shut in, and I'm like, so I'm going to write a super happy song, and it's going to be... It's going to be intoxicatingly happy, and it's all about having a great time. So the first part of the song is very heavily influenced by the song Triptych by Siam Shade, which is another great instrumental. Listen to it if you have not heard it. That is Triptych, T-R-I-P-T-Y-C-H, I believe is how it's spelled, by the band Siam Shade. Great uh, song, and the intro, the intro to Feel and Fine sounds a lot like that. Uh, now the next bit... The slow part where it starts the and then going into the part where it's like this I'm gonna go ahead and say is a complete ripoff of In That Quiet Earth by Genesis and it is a very shameless ripoff of that even the bit where you have the little conga drums doing the pom pom Ba -ba. That is based off the 1984 live version of that song. I'm going to go ahead and say that. Uh, then the very end is the ending to Domino, also by Genesis. I'm going to go ahead and say that very heavily influenced by that. I was just, I wanted something that really captures, like, happiness, and that's kind of what I was thinking. Um, but it's still a fun song to play, and it's still my own, even if it is a little bit rip-off-y. Rip um, next is Forest of Fairies. So Forest of Fairies, as far as the actual melody of it, um, it was not really influenced by anything. It's just basic, like, 70s prog. Um, so it's, it's just me coming up with kind of what I think a 70s prog song should sound like. Um, and then as far as the lyrics, you know, it's just something I kind of made up. I wanted something kind of melancholy a little bit, and that's where this came from. Uh, and I will go ahead and say that the idea for this of like the spoken word bit and then the, you know, how it gets kind of happy and then it gets like slow and sad and talks about the horrible fate of these creatures, I'm going to go ahead and say is influenced by the show F is for Family and about the, um, 
the the teenage son i forget what his name is but um you know him writing these kind of like depressing progressive rock songs that's kind of where i got the idea from i'm like i'm gonna do that too why the heck not um but the sound is all my own now let's talk about life life is abacab by genesis i'm gonna go ahead and say this song this album has a lot of genesis influence some of it a little more uh a, a little more shameful uh than others because there is a bit of there's a bit of ripoff going on here um so the intro is very similar to the intro to abacab now after that it's my own thing you know i i don't really um you know like i don't really draw influence from other bands when i did the rest of the song um the you know that's all me my reasons is another very introspective song now i wrote this song when i first found out that my wife was pregnant with our second child and so um, each verse is about a different member of my family the first verse is about my wife the second verse is about my son and the third verse is about um, as of then my unknown unborn child who is now my daughter but i didn't know that at the time um, so you know the lyrics reflect that it's like i don't know you just yet but i can't wait to hold you in my arms all that stuff um so that's where that comes from but the um so this is actually one of only two songs on the album where i actually play the flute i only play it at the very beginning um and i'm gonna go ahead and say this is another shameless genesis ripoff and this is uh fading lights from we can't dance which is the very last song that they ever did together um, before they switched the lead singer um, from Phil to Ray. And I was listening to the song at the time and I'm thinking, well, that's very, very powerful. I kind of want to do my own, my own version of that. Now let's talk about the final song on the album, the 14 plus minute crazy ridiculous epic that is let me find the actual name of the actual name of this song the full name of this song is that time when you get a really great idea to do something and everyone keeps telling you not to because it's not that great of an idea but you ignore them and do it anyway and you regret nothing because it's so epic that is the full name of the song and the reason I did that, the reason I came up with such a crazy title was because I wanted this to be another abstract song similar to Gulf of Planets. So the lyrics make absolutely no sense. I basically made them up as I went. Uh, and I'm like, just just think of some words that sound good and rhythm together and string them together. I wrote these lyrics in just a couple of minutes, honestly. Um, but I did that on purpose. I want this song to be crazy and zany and ridiculous. And the influence for this, God so much. So the song Genesis by Devin Townsend, 1985 by Haken, Dreams by Satellite, uh, and then just just various like 70s folk prog with like your um, your flute and your kind of Jethro Tull style like little drummer boy kind of medieval you know like English drum sound in there so it's a lot of different things it's it's prog metal it's neo prog it's uh arena pop it's um uh, it's folk it's it's everything um and it was that way on purpose i wanted it to be absolutely crazy um so it's so much so you have just the nice soft um like keyboard intro with the the strings and, and everything and then um I believe the song is in drop D tuning as well. Um, yeah, yeah, it is. So this song's in drop D tuning. And then you have the big chords. And then it goes into the crazy rhythm. And uh, then, it, you know, it just stops and you have the keyboard. And, you know, you have the flute, and there's just so much happening in this song. And it's one of those, I, um, when I first released it and played it, I'm like, 
it's got a few weaknesses, but overall, I think it's a really good song. The only thing is, um, because of the speed and everything, and I don't have the best control over my voice, it is a little hard to sing, and it's a little hard to keep in tune with, it, you know, like, songs like My Reasons, Forest of Fairies, I sing slowly enough that I can get a good feel of each note and everything, and this, you know, like, especially the bit, so the intro, the ba da ba da ba da 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 ba da that's easy to sing, and then the part where you have just the real fast, like, da 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 all that, that's actually not that hard to sing. It's that bit in the middle of the da 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 It's it's kind of hard to stay in tune. I'm not gonna lie. However, overall, this is a really fun song to play, and I can't wait to do this live because I think it's 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 either gonna rock people's faces off or just absolutely offend the sensibilities of everyone um, listening. And you know what? Either one, job well done. So that is Memories of the Cybernetic Love Cafe where elves drink their wooden hearts. My attempt to be experimental. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think of this album in the comments. Which songs you like, which ones you don't. I'm curious to know what you think.